At the beginning of the film, precisely in 1973, viewers will be introduced to a woman named Constance Webb and her hired guard named Ezekiel. They are conducting research in the Amazon rainforest to search for a rare species of spider that is said to have the ability to cure various diseases. In their conversation, Ezekiel mentioned that according to legend, besides being able to cure diseases, the venom from those spiders could also grant superhuman abilities to humans. However, Constance expressed her lack of interest in the myths and legends told by the locals. Despite being heavily pregnant, Constance insisted on searching for the spiders, while Ezekiel returned to the tent and attempted to steal their research files. Not long after, somehow Constance managed to find the spiders. However, suddenly, Ezekiel killed two other researchers and snatched the spiders from Constance, causing her to get shot. In critical condition, Constance was then taken by the Arana tribe in the Amazon rainforest. Inside their cave, they performed a ritual on Constance by injecting the spider venom into her body. Shortly after, her baby was born mysteriously, but unfortunately, Constance couldn't be saved. Decades later, precisely in 2003, the baby has grown into a beautiful woman named Cassie. She works as a medical officer in New York City. At that moment, Cassie and her colleague, Ben Parker, were seen rushing to take their patient to the hospital. After completing their task, Cassie was approached by a little child who handed her a picture as a token of gratitude. However, Cassie appeared very uncomfortable here because it turns out that all this time Cassie has always felt that family relationships are not important, mainly because she feels neglected by her mother. The next day, Cassie and Ben were seen on duty to rescue accident victims on a bridge trapped in a car. However, when the victim managed to get out of the car, the car suddenly closed again, trapping Cassie and sinking. In that situation, Cassie experienced something strange that made her seem to see a network connecting several events between the past and the future. Suddenly, Cassie regained consciousness after being saved by Ben Parker. Following the incident, Ben examined Cassie. Although Ben advised her to go to the hospital, Cassie refused after seeing that her oxygen levels had returned to normal at 89. In another story, Ezekiel, who now possessed superpowers from the spiders, was haunted by nightmares of his death by three spider women. These terrifying visions haunted him every night and he began considering killing them first. In another narrative, Cassie and her colleague were seen gathering at Ben Parker's house for a celebration of the pregnancy of Ben's sister-in-law, Mary Parker, who is the mother of Peter Parker still in the womb. Richard Parker is Ben Parker's biological brother who works as a biologist. Perhaps due to his busy schedule, he entrusted his heavily pregnant wife to his brother, Ben. Shortly thereafter, Cassie and Ben received a call about an accident that required them to return to duty. When Cassie arrived at the scene, strange events unfolded once again. She repeatedly saw a future where her hands were covered in blood as she provided assistance to a victim who suddenly turned into her colleague. Realizing this, she quickly approached her colleague and tried to prevent him from driving. Despite Cassie's continued efforts to dissuade him, her colleague refused. Suddenly, what she had seen in her vision turned out to be a real event that would occur in the future. Meanwhile, on the other side, Ezekiel, who had gained access to the CCTV footage from the NSA agent he had killed, was trying to find out who the person was that had killed him in his dreams. Relying on his visualized memories, he managed to obtain a photo of the three spider women from the future, who were currently teenagers. Returning to Cassie, her condition prompted her to seek medical attention. However, the examination results showed nothing unusual. While at home, another strange incident occurred as she was getting food. Suddenly, a bird crashed into her window, shattering it. However, what actually happened was Cassie's vision of a few minutes in the future. Initially, she thought it wouldn't change anything. However, when she opened her window, the bird flew into her house. In other words, Cassie could alter fate and the future with her abilities. Realizing this, Cassie intended to investigate what was happening to her. As she was on the train, another strange incident occurred. Future visions kept repeating where she saw a man suddenly come and kill the three teenagers on the train. Shortly after, the man appearing in her vision suddenly approached them rapidly. Cassie then asked the three teenagers to get off the train. Unexpectedly, the police, suspicious of Cassie, suddenly arrived to arrest her. However, out of nowhere, Ezekiel appeared in a Spider-Man-like costume, chasing after them. Luckily, Cassie and the three teenagers managed to escape in a taxi they stole. In short, Cassie took them into the forest, believing it to be the safest place from Ezekiel's pursuit. 
The three teenagers, named Anya, Julia, and Maddie, although initially hesitant to get involved in their affairs, Cassie soon discovered that they all shared a similarity in their broken family relationships. That's why Cassie decided to protect all three of them. Afterward, Julia asked Cassie about the identity of the masked man resembling a spider. Hearing the question, Cassie remembered her mother's research on spiders. Without hesitation, she decided to go check the files and asked them all to wait for her to return. Arriving home, Cassie began to examine some files owned by her mother. As it turned out, the man chasing the three teenagers was a former guard hired by Cassie's mother for research in the Amazon forest. On the other hand, as Cassie had not yet returned, Julia and the others decided to go to a restaurant. Unbeknownst to them, it could be an invitation for Ezekiel to find them. At the same time, Cassie realized they had left and quickly managed to find them all at a restaurant. However, shortly after, it turned out to be just a vision of Cassie's a few minutes into the future. Knowing what would happen, Cassie made another plan to save them. Just as Ezekiel arrived, although he managed to administer a bit of poison and restrain Cassie momentarily, they all eventually managed to escape from the scene. With Ezekiel's identity revealed, Cassie tried to find out more through her abilities. Her consciousness returned to the restaurant location, encountering the remnants of Ezekiel's powers. There, Ezekiel stated that his goal was to kill the three teenagers because in the future, those girls would kill him once they gained spider powers. With a series of interconnected events, Cassie decided to go to the Amazon forest in Peru while entrusting the three girls to the Parker family. Cassie's purpose in going there was none other than to find answers about her powers and to trace her mother's research. Upon arrival, she once again experienced visions of the events. Then, a man named Santiago approached Cassie. Santiago was a member of the Arana tribe who had saved and cared for Cassie when she was still a baby. During their encounter, Santiago took Cassie to the place where her mother had died after giving birth to her. Santiago then advised Cassie to make peace with her past and not blame her mother. He also revealed that with the spider venom he had injected into her mother's body before Cassie was born, Cassie possessed great power that she didn't even realize she was capable of. Suddenly, Cassie's consciousness was thrown into the cave, opening the door to the multiverse network, allowing her to see the past involving her mother. Cassie realized that her mother's ambitious goal in searching for the spider species was to cure the genetic disease that had threatened Cassie's life since birth. After realizing this, Cassie asked Santiago how to stop Ezekiel. Santiago explained that Cassie's ability to resist poison and see the future was a good start. However, to stop Ezekiel, Cassie needed to be more than just a seer. By mastering her powers fully, Cassie could transcend time and space, even having the ability to change the future as she desired. In another turn of events, Ezekiel and his assistant were tracking down the three girls, while the girls themselves were seen at Ben Parker's house with Mary. Suddenly, Mary's water broke, forcing Ben and the others to rush her to the hospital. As they left, Ezekiel managed to trace their whereabouts. At the same time, Cassie, who had just arrived at Ben's house, had a vision of the impending events. Without hesitation, she quickly followed them in a stolen paramedic's car. On the other hand, Ezekiel finally found them, and as he was about to throw a bomb towards Ben, Cassie suddenly appeared and rammed into Ezekiel. With time on her side, Cassie promptly directed the three girls to leave the premises, while Ben Parker continued his journey to the hospital. During their escape, Cassie received visions of how they could successfully flee. Utilizing her paramedic car, she enlisted the help of the fire department to rescue victims in a burning building, intending to trap Ezekiel inside and ensure he was caught in the fire. Upon reaching the rooftop of the building, Ezekiel suddenly appeared and detonated the helicopter. Amidst the chaos, Cassie had no choice but to confront Ezekiel with her psychic powers, attempting to save the three teenagers. Witnessing the scene, Ezekiel didn't stay passive. Eventually, Cassie succeeded in luring Ezekiel onto the rooftop, which she envisioned would collapse. However, unfortunately, this also caused Cassie to fall into the river along with the debris from the building. Fortunately, Julia swiftly rescued her, averting a worse tragedy. Following the incident, despite surviving, Cassie sustained injuries that left her paralyzed and blind according to the hospital's diagnosis. However, despite facing adversity, she remained grateful for saving the future of the three girls. Madam Webb's journey with the three spider women in the future would continue. Meanwhile, Ben Parker was seen accompanying Mary, who had just given birth to their nephew. They named the baby Peter Parker. And with that, the film came to an end.